Hi everyone, Miss Nicole here for another Species Spotlight. This week I'm inside our butterfly biome because we're highlighting a special host plant for our zebra longwing caterpillars that we have. So we have a few caterpillars here and this is a host plant for them. I know there's a caterpillar under this leaf over here. This is a host plant for them, meaning that this is what they munch on before they crystallize and become a butterfly. So this is the corky stem passion vine. You might have seen this vine around because it is native to central and south Florida. And it's a green herbaceous vine and it's also perennial and evergreen. So meaning that it stays green and it pretty much blooms all year round because we live in such a warm climate where it's native to. And because it's name, corky stem, as we look over here, some of the older growth turns woody like cork. So it almost looks like cork. That's how you'll remember that it's the corky stem. And since it's a vine, it likes to climb up trellises and other things. And we can see it has these spiral tendrils. So these little curlies that wrap around. So here we have this structure to grow the plant. So that way we have plenty of food and nutrients for our caterpillars. And it has different shaped leaves. So here is a perfect example. We have three pronged leaves. So one, two, three prongs. But then it also has oval shaped leaves. So it has kind of singular and three pronged leaves. So this vine can be pretty hard to spot because sometimes you're looking for different leaves. It also grows very little small white green flowers and I think we have some flower buds over here somewhere. We have little tiny buds, right? Here we go. And the flowers will turn into berries and the berries go green to a purple color. So I'll show you over here. We've got some green ones and then they're about to turn this bluish purple color. And these berries get eaten by birds and animals and then they get excreted and that's how the seeds of this vine spread. And something interesting is another name for this plant is also called indigo berry because the berries are indigo color. It's also called devil's pumpkin because these look like little tiny pumpkins and they're dark colored. This plant is actually also invasive to um, different places like Hawaii because it's not supposed to grow there and it grows very quickly and takes over. Whereas for us, it's a native plant. And it can grow well in hammocks, pine lands, and shell middens. So that's the definition of our Florida Keys environment. We've got all of that. So it grows well in this kind of well-drained, sandy type soil. And it gets pollinated by bees but as I said, it's a host plant for caterpillars, so that means the caterpillars will eat this. It can grow in full sun or partial sun, which we have right here. We've got the partial sun inside of our butterfly biome. And as I mentioned, it's the host plant for zebra longwings, but it's also a host plant for golf fritillaries and julias. And what's super interesting about this corky stem passion vine is when the caterpillars, the zebra longwings eat these plants, it gives them this toxicity so they um, aren't, predators won't want to eat them after they take some of that toxicity from the corky stem passion vine. So I hope you learned a lot about our corky stem passion vine and stay tuned for next week because we're going to talk about more about what's inside of our butterfly biome.